welcome back to a new weekly vlog. I know I always say morning, it's morning for me, but I know I always start my videos, they go live at six o'clock, so good evening to you. Um, I hope you're doing well. It's going to be a new weekly vlog, and I've just finished the previous one, and we're into kit packing. I'll link up the previous video below for you, but we're going to have an amazing week this week. It is going to be all about staying on top of things, staying focused, and really getting loads done. It's my busiest week of the month, so I'm super busy. So I'm gonna share with you how I stay on top of things, how I get loads done, and how I have to stay focused during this time. So I really, really hope you find these tips helpful. Please give me a thumbs up if you do, and if you enjoy the video, and please do subscribe to my channel if you are new. In this vlog, I have a little chat with you about how I stay focused, share some tips with you, which also include like around the house, what helps me. I have a food shop arrive. I chat work. It's my busiest week of the month. So obviously there's work talk. And then I have some amazing happy mail arrive. And I also share some foodie recipes with you as well. So I've been doing my admin all morning. I've been at my desk since half past five. I do always, although I work from home, I always get myself ready. It's the number one rule for me. I always do my hair, makeup, um, always shower before I start work and get ready to start the day. Um, I've just put this on. I love light fragrances. It is the Blanc um, and it's a little um, eau de toilette, whatever you call it. But it's a really light one. I can't usually wear perfumes. I bought this in... Um, Urban Outfitters in the States. I think it was from when we were in Savannah, but it's, no, actually this one was from Washington, um, San Francisco, I think, but it's like a, a green tea type one. It's so light. I love to be surrounded by really light, uplifting fragrances when I'm working. I love that. I am also looking at booking a couple of nights away. Um, obviously nobody's doing anything this year, but we thought we've had a couple of nights away at um, the Marriott at Heathrow and really, really enjoyed that. I didn't actually film in the last one. Um, we were with friends and I didn't end up filming, um, but we're wanting another couple of nights away and we might go to another Marriott. Uh, we really like the Marriott hotels. We tend to stay in them when we go away as well. And we've always had a really, really good experience. So we're just looking at another one and it's come up at a really, really good price, including breakfast. So I think we might go for that. So I'm, I just think at the moment, it's really, really important to have things to look forward to. Are you finding that as well? Um, I think that's the thing I miss with not being able to go on holiday. So just having a couple of nights away um, makes us really, really excited. So we're looking forward to booking that. I think we'll do that today. Um, I've got all my admin jobs done now, so they would usually be the thing that kind of distracts me. Um, emails are up to date. I have responded to everyone on YouTube and Instagram, and I'm now gonna go to my packing desk and spend the day packing. I do have a Morrison's delivery coming today. I have a Morrison's delivery every 10 days. Um, in between, if we need bread and milk and stuff like that, um, aid nips into Waitrose. The kids work there anyway, or they bring something home if we need it. But aid drops Louis off there anyway, so he'll run in and grab bits and pieces. But generally we don't need much. I've got my delivery coming today at between four and five. I always get really excited, but I want to make sure the fridge is clean and tidy before that comes, so I will do that later. And my menu is all planned out, ready for the shop, so I can't wait. I'm going to be making something really delicious for dinner tonight. I've got a new recipe that I'm trying, and it's basically just based on what was left in my fridge. And that's what we're using up today, so I will share that with you later as well. I find as well, keeping on top of the housework really, really helps. And I find by doing little and often, I have a morning cleaning routine, which really, really helps. So I've already done the kitchen and tidied up. I did put the dishwasher on last night, so I always try and empty the dishwasher on the mornings that it's gone on. Um, it doesn't go on every single day. Um, but then if I empty it, I can then just fill it up for the rest of the day and it just saves having dishes around the kitchen because I hate that when the sink's full or when, when around the sink is just full of dishes. I like to have a clean, tidy house to walk through. It really helps with the stress levels. There we go, all nice and tidy. Something that I find is really, really important to help me in the week, although I do meal plan, 
and I really sort of like work on um, a balanced diet and things like that. I also factor in lunches as well because I find that just as important and I'm terrible at skipping meals. Um, if I haven't planned them. So in my last video, I made a great big batch of chili soup. I've got two glass containers now in the fridge that were typed over for lunches. And I'm just about to go and heat this up. And that's my lovely healthy lunch. I do find it really makes a difference if I have a decent lunch and quite light as well. As much as I love a sandwich and a bag of crisps, I then find that I get that like three o'clock lull a lot of the time where I feel really, really tired and I just wanna go for a snooze. So trying to eat healthily at lunch times and not skip meals or not eat anything heavy really, really helps me. Back to kit packing and this is the movie I'm watching on Netflix. I've done, packed 100 boxes and I've got all these to stick in the labels in the front like this age usually does it but he ran out of time last night and now to crack on with the rest of the boxes just had my food shop arrive but as usual um i've spotted things in the bag that i didn't order that shopping is not for you missus no poppy no it's not your dinner off you go poppy no that's louis go on bed poppy poppy bed it's, no, there's no digestives either. Because who loves digestives? Poppy does. So our freebies this week, we've got roast chicken and reduced fat mature cheese. Thank you, Morrisons. So the main bulk of our shopping has cost 51 pounds, including the 250 delivery um, for the next 10 days. Lovely bacon potatoes again. We've got chippies. I'm going to do some turkey steaks. Um, I also, I've ordered something new. I've tried trying these rice noodles for the first time. There's um, a dish I want to make with bean sprouts and um, I can't remember, some kind of like Thai curry, I think, to go with it. It looks really nice. Got my veggies, wraps. We get through a lot of wraps. Um, this is always a big hit in our family as well. I um, did pick up a couple of bits to put away for Christmas. I use these cheapy noodles for ramen. I just don't use the seasoning. These are 33p, uh, sorry, 30p a pack. Ran out of curry powder this week and onion granules. And Louis and Aid really love the barbecue sauce. They're the only tins I have this week. Um, and then we've got skips. I just realised Louis crisps haven't come. I wonder where they are. These for Louis' lunches, and I bought him those as a treat as well. And these are the only bready items on the order as well. And for dinner, I'm about to make a sin-free cheesy leek potato bake. And I'm gonna team that up with the turkey steaks and a load of broccoli. Potatoes and leeks are in. I am just feeding my sourdough starter. Let me know if you've also done a sourdough starter this year, or if you had one already. I want to make another loaf of rye bread. Did you see the one I made a couple of days ago in my last vlog? It was so good. And I want to make another one. We ate it the whole loaf yesterday. Right, I've just done my turkey breasts. Um, I just used spray oil with mushrooms and onions and I've seasoned them and I just keep turning them. Um, and I've added a tiny little drop of wine. This is my yummy cheesy leek layer, which I will link up below. There we go, I think that looks very yummy. Good morning, it's Thursday. I'm gonna have a super long work day today, packing kits again. So I'm getting a curry in the crock pot straight away. I'm trying a healthy butter curry today. Um, so I'll link up the recipe for you, but I'm just literally throwing it all in. So that's the chicken, everything's been mixed up that's in the recipe, thrown in the chicken, and I'm gonna stick that on the crock pot stand. I've just received happy mail in the post. I just said to Aid, it's too nice to open. Look, it's so pretty with a lovely letter from Linda to go with it. I'm gonna go and take it in my studio to photograph because it's so pretty. Look at that rainbow. That is so sweet. I've just taken photos and it's a little card so I can actually keep it as well. I need to do maybe a little journal. I get quite a lot of cards and letters sent now and I keep them all, so it'd be quite nice. I also need to set up a P.O. box. It's been something I've been meaning to do for the business for ages and I tried to do it last year and it just didn't work. Royal Mail would know how, but it is something that I really need to do. 
let's open this it's always a shame to open it it's so pretty look how lovely that tissue paper is i've got such a big box now of happy mail that people have sent me and i keep everything oh look oh that's so sweet look at that oh my goodness i love this oh look it's got like blog on it they're like little notelets i think i'm supposed to open this one up because it's got washi tape on it it's so sweet oh these are nice they're little tabs this would be so cute for a little disney project these are so sweet i love that one a little mickey on the front there I love anything like this. Look at the little tags. I need that die cut. It's so cute. I wonder if it's a die cut or if she's used a cutter. Then there's, I'm not going to open this, but it's a little glassine bag with loads and loads of little Mickeys. And then there's again the same on the other side. We've got tags. And this is so cute. Lots and lots of little Mickey hands and shorts and feet. That is adorable. And then we've got little notelets on here as well. This is so lovely. So much care and thought's gone into this. And this is lovely. This one has got, oh, look. I bet she's used a cutter for this. I need to know. These are so sweet. Little page clips. These, this would be nice for a Disney planner. I don't feel like I can plan at the moment. Do you feel the same with your holidays? I just feel like I need to hold off. Eight books and reservations today. With, we're annual pass holders so he's gone ahead and done that. But I just feel like I'm just leaving him to it. I'm not really interested. Um, I'm done with getting my hopes up and getting excited. I just feel like we're just going through the motions. Um, so I'm leaving him to it. He still wants to do it. Um, I just can't think about a holiday at the moment. But this is so lovely. Thank you so much, Linda. That is so special. I really, really appreciate it. I've just taken my rye loaf out. It is so good. The crust is such a thick, tasty crust. It's absolutely delicious. I think this is definitely my favourite sourdough I've done. I have spent all day labelling boxes. Aids, I'm going to be um, taping them all up tonight and like doing all the custom labels. Um, I am going to be getting rid of the, I hate saying getting rid of, it sounds like I'm, I don't care about them. I'm going to be shipping the international orders today. I'm going to send them two days early. I'm just finishing up. It's um, one of my friends in the States gets a kit. And um, as she's my really good friend, I like to include extra goodies for her. And she said that she really misses cheddar biscuits and can't get them. If you're in the States, they're like, think of them like Ritz biscuits, but they're slightly larger, slightly thinner. You don't get the salt on them, but they're really, really cheesy. They've got such a lovely crisp to them. Really, really good. So I'm going to send her a couple of those. Um, I bought some chocolate stars for her. And got a couple of chocolate bars for her hubby and I bought her a little gift as well and I've just remembered that Debbie watches my videos so she knew I was going to get the chocolate the biscuits anyway but I won't show the little gift that I bought her so I'm packing up this for her and I'm watching Karen B on my big screen in here um do you know Karen B she's so sweet I love her videos um go and watch her if you don't she's also a Disney vlogger and she does day in the life or like weekly vlogs all the time at the moment because obviously none of us can go away but i just really really enjoy her i find her videos really relaxing to watch and by the way thank you i can't remember who it was i need to go and check um to the person in my life with lisa group that re recommended the cara and nate videos their vlogs i'm so in love with cara and nate we both are we're hooked um, all day I look forward to us finishing work or at least going into the lounge and we watch their videos we w treat ourselves to about three or four videos we've gone right back to the vi uh, to the beginning they started um, world traveling um, four years ago it was supposed to be for a year and they ended up only coming home because of the virus they've been traveling non-stop 
we're caught up to date with their US vlogs since they've been back. They're now travelling in the US. They bought a camper van, but we've gone right back to the beginning four years ago. And we love their videos. They are so good. They are such a sweet couple from Tennessee. Love them. And we are hooked on their videos at the moment. So that's what we're watching. And our life is all about Cara and Nate at the moment. They're absolutely so inspiring. That's what I would like to do. Travel the world. Um, but oh well. I need to carry on in my studio because I want to send my internationals today. Remember that butter chicken I made? And I've roasted off some broccoli and some cauliflower as well. I'm so looking forward to this. The week where I thought I would vlog and show you how I stay focused and really get the most out of my work. I haven't actually filmed very much. It's now Saturday. I got all my kits out of the way and I found I've had such a busy week that one of the main things for me to stay focused, to really work hard, was not to film. So I've just really, really focused on getting my kits done this week and I actually got them sent out a day early, which I'm really, really pleased about, but I haven't really filmed the whole process. Um, and I've really, really felt busy this week. So I've had a lie in this morning. I've had a slower day today. And now it's, what time is it? Eight, about four-ish? Four, ten past four. I've just packed my planning bag and we're gonna go and grab a Starbucks and actually get out of the house. Does that sound good to you? Yeah. Got some things I want to work on. Are we going inside or should we stay in the car? Should we see how busy it is when we, we haven't actually been in to Starbucks yet. We'll see how busy it is and how we feel. Um, but a good way to stay focused for me is to get out of the house. Decided to stay in the car, haven't we? Yeah. Looking back, I've just been editing this video and looking back, it doesn't look like I really stayed focused this week. But I did actually do really, really well and I finished kit packing a whole day early. So I obviously did something right. And I always stick to my rules to get up early, get washed and dressed and start my day. I do my chores for the house first thing in the morning so that the house feels nice all day. It always makes me feel sluggish when the house is a mess. Even if it's not perfect, just having clean bathrooms, made beds, clean floors, that kind of thing sets me up for the whole day and I feel so much happier in myself. Um, having a list, you know how much I love a list. That really sets me up for the day as well and I feel so much happier when I have a good list. Things like having my meal plan for the week. Again, I go to the bed. I go to bed knowing what I'm going to have for the next day, to for dinner. Even if I end up changing my mind, that's absolutely fine. Um, but it just puts my mind at rest. Having doing all my food shopping online. Again, I work to my menu, so I always know what we're going to have. It just makes me feel really, really organised, and that really helps me to stay focused. But um, I really hope that this has helped you a little bit and you've kind of seen how my week runs, which I think you all know anyway, but what helps me to stay focused and really get my job done. And it works really, really well for me. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what works for you. How do you stay focused? Um, whether you're working from home, whether you're going to work, let me know what works for you and what are your must do's as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Lots of love, bye.